हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक राउंड गी किया यूजिंग वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर क्रोम ब्राउजर विद इट्स डिफॉल्ट सेटिंग कैन रियली रोन योर एक्सपीरियंस कॉम्प्रोमाइज योर प्रिवेसी एंड सिक्योरिटी एंड इवन स्लो डाउन द क्रोम ओवरऑल परफॉर्मेंस सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एंजॉय द गूगल क्रोम ऑन योर पी सी विद द वेल ऑप्टिमाइज परफॉर्मेंस एंड विद द इम्प्रूव सेफ्टी टू प्रोटेक्ट योर प्रिवेसी देन आई वुड रिकमेंड यू टू टर्न ऑफ दिस सेटिंग्स राइट नाउ सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स क्विकली गेट स्टार्टेड and i will be starting with the popups and the redirect setting now by default this setting is on where websites send you the popup for the advertisement promotions and other kind of intrusive ad which may use the redirect to take you to the potentially harmful website and this will not only compromise your security but will also ruin your browsing experience so go ahead and disable this and for that bring up your chrome browser click on the three dot at the right in top then click on settings In the setting from the left-hand menu option, you will have to click on Privacy and Security. Then you have to click on Site Settings, and here you have to scroll down to the bottom, and you will find Pop-ups and Redirect. Click on it, and here in the default behavior, it might be selected to Site can send the pop-ups and the use the redirect. So you have to choose Don't allow the site to send pop-ups or use redirect. All right so once you are done now we can move with the next setting where we have to disable the autofill and the password and this is a very common feature of a browser which may seem useful to many user where you can save your personal information password and the payment detail and autofill will save all these information so that you can use it for the next time without filling it and without remembering it but this is only a good side the dark side is it poses a security risk since anyone with the access to your device could misuse the sensitive information so if anybody has a physical access to your device or even if someone has the remote access they can also find out these information like your app uh, credential your password your username so it's always recommended that go ahead and disable the autofill and password so again in the settings only from the left hand menu option you will have to click on autofill and password And here only you will find the autofill and password. You can disable it. But if you have connected the Google Password Manager, then probably you will find that option. Then you can click on it. Then from the left hand menu option, you will have to click on Settings. And here you can click on Offer to save password and pass keys. You can just go ahead and disable them. Sign in automatically. You can also disable them. And even you can see that if anybody has a remotely access to your device or the physical access, ah, uh, they can bring up any of the website. and from here only they can view the password they can view the username the site if you have made any kind of note everything they can find from here only so very risky and you are posing your security so always recommended that do not use the autofill form and even don't use the google password or any kind of password manager all right and next we have the preload pages which is another chrome feature that preload pages in the background which you have visited in the past to make them open faster for the next time which of course is speed up the browsing and save time but it also consume additional resources which will slow down the overall performance of your device and this is also one of the reason why you see that the chrome is occupying the high resources from your cpu and the memory and in order to disable the preload pages in the setting from the left hand menu option only you will have to click on performance and here you have to scroll down to the bottom and in the speed section you will find the preload pages so just go ahead and toggle it off all right and next we have to disable the third party cookies now while browsing on chrome or any other browser the third party cookies track your activity and create a profile of your online behavior which is further shared with the advertiser to target you with the specialized and the personalized advertisement So if you want to stop this to improve your privacy then you have to disable this setting also and for that again in the settings only from the left hand side you have to click on privacy and security click on cookies and site data or the third party cookies and there you will find it should be selected to allow the third party cookies and you have to choose it to block third party cookies and even below you might find allow related site to see your activity in the group you don't want to keep this enable so go ahead and disable this and now the website will not be able to track your activity and next we have to disable the background application so by default google chrome is set to run application in the background even after you close the browser while this help website load faster allow chrome to check for the update 
and let you quickly reopen the browser but it can also consume system resources and drain your battery if you are using a laptop. So for this reason, I would prefer you to disable this feature as well. So again in the settings only, from the left hand side, click on system here. And here you will find continue running background application when Google Chrome is closed. So make sure this option has been disabled. Alright, so now let's move with the seventh setting that is the web notification. Now if you have noticed that while browsing different website on Google Chrome, there are pop-ups asking for the permission to send you the notification and many times you allow them accidentally or just click on them to get rid of that pop-up. So once you allow these kind of notification, they will keep giving you annoying notification in the future and even send you to the harmful website. So in order to block this setting, again from the left hand side, you have to click on privacy and security. Click on site settings and then you have to look for the notifications. Click on notifications and here you have to choose don't allow site to send you the notifications. Just check this option and this will now prevent any notification request keeping your browsing experience free from any kind of distraction. Okay now the next thing that we have to disable is the hardware acceleration. This is another setting in the Google Chrome browser that allow the Chrome to use your computer GPU to handle the task like video rendering or processing any kind of images which help and ease the load of the CPU while it improves the performance of your CPU and browser but I have found that keeping this feature enabled often causes the crashing issues during the live streaming and even in the normal browsing and even you might have seen that the green screen comes while playing any kind of video on the Google Chrome browser especially on the YouTube. So again I want to recommend you to keep this option enabled. So for that what you have to do in the settings only from the left hand side you have to click on system and here in the system only you will find use graphic acceleration when available. Again toggle it off. I have already disabled here but you might find enable then you have to disable it. And next we have the automatic download. Now by default website are allowed to automatically download the related file alongside the main file that you are downloading which can save time. While convenient, this also opens the door for the malicious file to be downloaded without your knowledge or consent. And for this reason, I always block this feature to prevent the website from automatically downloading the multiple file at once. So in order to disable, again in the settings only, from the left hand side, click on privacy and security. Click on site settings. And scroll down to the bottom. And in the permission, you have to click on additional permission. And here somewhere you will find the automatic download. Click on automatic download. And it says site can ask to automatically download the multiple file. So you need to choose this to don't allow site to automatically download multiple sites. Or multiple files sorry. So once you have choose this option. Now you will be asked to grant the permission before any additional files are being downloaded. Alright and now let's move with the last setting that is continue where you left off. Now Chrome allow you to set which pages or website open when you launch the browser. You can choose two specific pages, a new tab page or restore all the pages that were open when you last closed the Google Chrome browser. Now I personally use the option continue where you left off the option but I found it to be a privacy concern because other could see the pages I was using during my last session. So I really don't feel comfortable that people should see that. Uh, what were the pages, what were the website I was using before closing the Chrome. The option to open a specific page or set of pages can also cause unnecessary load at a startup and malicious site can be set to open automatically. For this reason, I keep both options turned off and set Chrome to apply only a new tab or page on the startup. And to do this, what you will have to do in the settings only from the left hand side, you have to look for the startup. And make sure it's been selected to open the new tab page. And that's it. So now you have successfully applied all the 10 changes on your Chrome browser in order to improve the performance and maintain your privacy and security and enhance your browsing experience on your device. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this information useful. If yes, please hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.